So in this video, let's talk about the S3 bucket to serve public assets for your application. So in our SAS, which we are working on, um, there's this video, which is around 150 MB, which means that I cannot push this to GitHub and I cannot um, access the URL um, through the repository. So an ulterior solution to this would be to use an S3 bucket. So if we go to Amazon here, go and type in S3 in the search bar. So S3 bucket is a way for you to put in your files, uh, massive files, so that you can access it through there. So here I've got two already. So let me create one. So if you're new to it, you wouldn't have had any you should probably give a name for it. So let me give it a name Call something like this. I'll leave this in its default settings. And for everyone to have access um, to your bucket, you'll have to uncheck this box. And in some time, I'll show you a more secure way to actually serve those kind of assets. But for now, let's just uncheck it. And I'll tick this. I'll scroll down and I'll leave all of this in its default settings. So once uh, that's done, I'll create a bucket. So I have a bucket now called public assets for SAS. So in here, if I click here, I can upload any files here. So you could just drag and drop any files which you'd like and it will probably um, get uploaded. It'll take some time. So, so in order to save time, I've already I already have one here so this one I just put in this demo mp4 file here so once it's uploaded if you click here you get a URL if you go inside that you will get an access denied um, message that is because whenever you're configuring a bucket each bucket has its own um, permissions so if I go if you go down here you have something called bucket policies. So in here, you just edit it here and you'll have to give certain um, policies, meaning who can, who and what can access your buckets. So if you have no clue, you can just go to policy examples here and you'll get a bunch of examples for different policies, um, which you should just search for what your use case is. So this is require SSE KMS for all object. And there's one for CloudFront, which we'll be using shortly. This is the one which we'll use later. Um, so yeah, so all of these permissions are kind of an example for you. You can just copy this and replace the your bucket name. But in our case, I've already got one here, which gives public read access to everybody. And you'll just have to configure the bucket name, which will which is this pro um, for the, in this case, it's productify fit public assets. You just replace this line with this. So I'll do that now. Yeah, the same thing. It's the same. Then once I save it, successfully added. Now if I go back to objects, MP4, <clears throat> and go to this file here, I should be getting that video here. Yeah, so now I can access that video here, as you can see. here. So it's quite slow right now. So there are two problems to this solution. One is that it is not safe because it's publicly accessible by everyone. And the other one is that it's very slow. Because if you remember, when we configured the bucket, we also had to mention the location. So if a user is from another part of the world, like Australia, New Zealand, it would be difficult. Uh, the transmission of data would be very slow. So in order to avoid that, what we what we'll do is we'll use another service of um, Amazon uh, AWS, which is um, CloudFront. So CloudFront is basically a CDN, a uh, cloud distribution network. So this will allow us to stream the data. So once that's done, what we can do is. Uh, go to origin access and we'll have to create a control settings here 
let's call it um, demo yt or AI and let's just leave it all of this at its default and I'll create it so we have that now um, I think it's this one demo yt or AI next up we'll have to create a distribution so in here let's create a new distribution so now we'll have to choose which bucket we want so in our case it is this one right here uh, called uh, pro productify it public asset so this has a, a demo mp4 here so then um, which in here is this one I'll click this one and we'll have origin access control settings here and in here the one we just created which is demo YTOAI we'll select that so that only this can access um, the bucket if I scroll down um, we'll leave all of this as its default to make things more secure we'll only allow um, HTTPS which is secure connections to make the call so I can leave all of this at its default here and I'll click also um, enable security pro protections and I can just scroll down down yeah that's it so once that's done that should create a distribution for us so right now it's deploying we'll have to wait until this is done so next up is let's go back to our um, bucket which is productify it public assets we'll, let's go to permissions and let's edit this permission to block all public access we'll save that and I'll confirm that as well okay and this um, bucket policy also will have to change so now edit and clear that out let me check whether it's deployed okay, it's still deploying fine um, so because we are using CDN um, uh, cloud front will have to explicitly state that C this CDN can access the data in our bucket so for that you, let's go to policy examples again and just go down to this one managing access to an Amazon CloudFront OAI so this is the older one which uses identity access management what we are using is um, called access control origin access control so click this link right here and it should um, redirect you to this page so just copy out this one right here go back to here and I'll just paste that out here so this is the one with this is the policy for using origin access control and this is the older one which uses identity access control so this this is the most secure one which we are using it's the latest one I'll just delete out this because we are not using identity access management and let's see what the error is okay that's fine I guess okay so, okay I'm still getting an error let me check okay I think it's because of this one all right so all of the errors is gone now we need a few things here one is the bucket name so let me copy this out and give the give it the bucket name make sure the slash is there so that uh, the slash basically means ev all the files inside the this bucket and not just one next is the AWS account ID um, which can be found right here if you just click this you you'll get an account ID and the next one is cloud front distribution ID so to get that go back here it's still deploying let's wait uh, until it's deployed to get the ID alright so it's deployed here since I'm getting the date here so let me go back to the distributions and I'll just copy this out right here and let's go back to our bucket policies and I'll change this 
right here. Make sure you're getting in those two brackets. I right, change that. Fine. Now I'll just change in the AWS account ID, which I'll get from here. Actually, I'll just copy this out and and I'll paste it right here. I'll paste it and hit save. And I'll hit save. Okay. So that's done. Now to get access to that URL, um, go to your file here. The name of this file, which is uh, the key demo MP4. This is what we'll be using. So go back to distributions. We'll go to this one. This is the one which you just created. And this is the distribution name. I'll click copy. And this is the old one. So I'll just paste right. I'll actually refresh this so that I'll cancel that out. Okay, I'll refresh this. I'll put in that this value right here. I'll go to bucket policy, um, not bucket policy. I'll just take in the key, go back here and slash demo mp4. And we should be getting the data now. Yeah, so now um, it's much more faster. Um, it's still loading because my internet is crap right now. So yeah but this should be much more faster and more secure so if i go back to my public assets and try to access the bucket directly which is this url i should be getting an access denied message so now it is more secure and more faster all right so that's it for this video if you want more videos on aws let me know and thanks for watching